Hi everyone. Um, this is what you would I have another one in a video for you to take a look at to learn so you'll be more familiar with MindTap and the compiler through the browser with it. So uh, after you go into your your lab and homework for um, two, there's a subdirectory that's called Chapter Two: uh, Basic Elements of C++ in program exercise with it. Go into that and these first three um, two dash 3, 2 dash 6, 2 dash 8 is what's being evaluated. These two are the two practice ones that I'm going to uh, practice with you. I did a video on program exercise number 9. I'm looking at program exercise number 10. So if you can go into that folder, I'm going to have the video posted right here for you as well. But if you go into this folder right now, um, this is what it looks like right now um, with the interface that you're going to um, have. Uh, so it looks like this. And let me move over here and maximize this window. And you click on Star Assignment Now. So the, the way how this works is if you look in the upper left hand corner, um, the, kind of like the little book page instructions that tell you the instructions, there's also the check um, each, on, each one of the steps and tells you each one of these things and how you run it and, and, uh, and process the program with it. So what I'd like for you to do is if you can come up to the top over here and come in and look at the instructions with me. It says write a program that prompts the user to add five decimals number. The program should then uh, add five decimal number, convert the number to the nearest integer, meaning rounding off, and print the results with it. So um, let me zoom in this. I realize this is kind of small for you, but I'm going to zoom in so you can see can, is that, can you see it better. So a little bigger font with it as well. So let me make it a little bit more space on here as well. As you know, this is your basic, basic skeleton. All that I ask is on your you know, typical traditional projects, you would actually have your name here. Okay. Um, the second one is the course number. So, of course, this is 1436 section. Um, what whatever your section may be with it. So I'll just leave this blank for it. And this is basically its program fundamental. Um, this is exercise uh, chapter two, um, program exercise number two underscore or two dash ten. Okay, of course, you think I would know that because it's coming in through MindTap with it. That's a nice thing about it. So. So let's prompt the user in this thing. You're inside the int main, you write your code here with it, but you're not going to comment it out, I hope. So the first thing you need to do is to tell you already, um, make sure you indent in so it's, the white space makes it a little easier with it. So this is about a decimal. You're welcome to use a float. I would recommend you use a double for better precision. So you, you could actually use five number identifier, it would be num1, num2, num3. Num four, num five. Okay, so you have five. Um, another one that you probably need as a uh, output, something along the line as something with the uh, sum. So you could also do sum as well. Okay, so make that a part of that line with it. So all that's just allocation and declaration to the variable that you're about to do with it as well. Let's need to prompt the user. So I have to run a cout statement that outputs it. This is your stream insertion operator. And then you put in your string by saying, please input five um, numbers separated by a space. Okay, so you can put a space and, a, and give it between it. And here, you would actually put a semicolon, so waiting, the prompt will wait for you to input. So you can come in and do it next is you have to do a CN. Now, this is a CN, so you have to do the reverse of this lesser than sign. This is, what again, what's called the stream insertion operator. This one would be the stream extraction operator, meaning you are reading into the variables. In this. So each one of these here and read in is num1. Read in store in the next one is num2. And the next one to store it is in num3. 
the next one stored in as num4, next one stored in as num5. And then, of course, you always want to have a C out statement just to move the carriage down to the next line after you do it, so NL semicolon with it. Now, you're at this stage right now is, let me move this up a little bit. What I would like for you to do is to, you got to do something with that memory that you store in all of this. So we're going to allocate everything to num. Store this into num, whatever the expression may be. So we know that we have to add num1 plus num2 plus num3 plus num4 plus num5. But the tricky part in this problem is, is how do you get it to the nearest integer? That's very important. All right. In your reading, one of the things that we talked about in the book was called the static cast. The static cast command allows you to convert an expression to a certain data type. So I'm going to treat this as the expression in here. And then you convert it to a certain data type. So when, let's say if I input in a decimal in all these right now, right? So for example, if I input in, I'm just going to comment up, block comment this so we can actually have a little space to talk about it. So I'm going to, with this, so all this will be ignored by the compiler with it. So let's say if I input in 3.5, how does it know to round off to 4.0? How do I know when I actually come in and put like 43.2? to round to three. Okay, so that's a, that's what I'm talking about is how does it know to round off with it? So by rounding off to this thing is that you would actually add all five numbers together and you could actually add a point five zero point five to it and then convert that decimal to an integer. So for, for instance, in here after I add the five numbers together with it, I would add another 0.5 to this. And then I would use my static cast, static underscore cast, and I would actually convert that to an int, put my data type here, and this is what I would actually, and I have to end this with a semicolon. Okay? So as you can see, this particular statement will allow me to do what I need and store that into num. And after this, once I'm ready to get num out with it, I would actually do a C out a statement by saying the number, the five numbers added together rounded off to the nearest integer the space, move that cursor on this side, and I would put num here. Okay, so this is what you can actually do with it. Now once I've done this, I can come over here to this little check, click on that little radio button with it, give it a second, and I can actually do run the checks. So you can run the checks to see if you did this properly with it. Now I've, I've had something that's coming up here and I this is good that even though what I think would usually work with it um, would actually not see. As you can see this is not acceptable yet because if I had I submit now it would be zero, right? So I would actually run a test on this thing. Click on the play button over here. Uh-oh. It's having some errors here. So it's telling me, look at all these, of these errors I have here. All right. Um, let's take a look. Oh, it doesn't like some of these comments that I put in here. Okay, so let's see here. I misspell sum. I did num. My apology. So there you go. Let's try that again. You didn't know what sum was. 
Okay, so I, I output, this needs to be sum. My apology. Sorry. Okay, so let me move this, let me make this a little bit more room. So we have, again, I misspell the word sum, sum, and sum. I call it num for some reason. Okay, so I'm going to enter in five numbers at this time with a decimal. Enter, and that rounds it off. So if I took a calculator in this right now, I just want to make sure I did this right. Here's my calculator. So I'm going to punch in some numbers. 25.5 plus 36.1 plus 25.4 plus 25.6 plus 95.4. And that is the same answer as what I got in my calculator as well. Okay. So um, just make sure my math is right and everything with it. Okay. Now when you're done with this, you can do run check again. Okay, so everything looks out great with it. Three checks, test case statement with it as well. And once you've got 100 percent, or you know, if you're satisfied with where you're at, you click on submit 100, and this actually will confirm. And that's it. Submission saved via your past submission in the past. So with it, so I gave everybody each one of you three tries on these uh, first three problems. Okay, thank you.